I am Dr. Saloni Bhatia. I am a conservation anthropologist. Conservation anthropology is basically a field in which uh, one studies people's relationships with nature. I am part of the Five Three Takes video series under the Generation Equality Allyship Program. Today I'll be answering some of your questions about being in the field of conservation while creating my own mini forest. I'm officially the plant killer in my family. This is a bit of an irony. <laughs> I remember when I was speaking to my mum and I asked her, you know, where do books come from? And she said, uh, well, trees. Then I asked her about clothes, like where are my clothes from? And she was like, it all again, you know, comes from nature. It was just one of those moments where I felt, oh, like, you know, it is such a provider and it's given me so much. Growing up, I, then I reflected back on the memory and I just felt like this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to be the voice of nature. The way I went about it was I did my undergrad in the humanities. I studied English literature actually and then I went on to specialize um, you know in a degree in conservation and sustainability and there are many options now in India that don't require you to have science background at all. So places like the National Center for Biological Sciences. Academics is not the only route uh, to get into this field and you can always find your niche even with a different educational background that you might have. I would say the first and foremost is try to spend more time with nature, reach out to um, NGOs, environmental NGOs. You can always write to people, ask them if you can volunteer your services. You may not directly be a scientist or an academic and that's absolutely fine. There are multiple skills that are required to contribute to the larger goal of conservation. It could be, you know, con volunteering your legal services and then on the other hand you have things like fundraising. There are multiple ways of being um, related to or in touch with nature and all of it goes a long way. It's very easy to become cynical too soon. Mental health plays a really important role in trying to, you know, allow you to function. I remember this one time when I was collecting data in the field. I had been uh, in Ladakh for nearly six months. I, we were just in the last phase of field work. Uh, this was during my PhD. And I was so, so tired that I remember just crying into my butter tea and just telling myself I just can't go on any longer. And I think there is a very thin line between knowing when to give up and knowing when to continue. And it's not all always very clear it's a very blurred line and there are always these forces that pull you in opposite directions you know and each one has to kind of figure out what their threshold is and then I told myself okay maybe just today maybe I'll take this decision tomorrow you know sometimes there are weak moments but uh, you know maybe it's good to just breathe in and you know see what you can do in that particular moment do your best and see where that takes you what I've come to realize is it's a pretty, still quite an elitist field. If you don't have a financial net, it's difficult to crack because there is a lot of job insecurity and financial insecurity. There is one thing to have sustainability as a way of life, another thing to have sustainability uh, as a professional uh, choice. I think the field has to diversify more. It has to have mechanisms to support uh, people from disenfranchised groups. When it comes to implementation, there are several things we need to correct. Uh, so a lot of conservation is be based on a very Western model in which people were, uh, you know, largely just kind of evicted out from protected areas that were created. And that meant uh, them losing rights, them losing access to forests that they've depended on, that they've tended for years together. And I think now there is a movement to kind of be more inclusive about this, involve people, communities in conservation and not see them as uh, antithetical to conservation. So I would say that's the direction in which I would like the field to progress. So my small forest is ready. There's a little mushroom, there's a ladybird and a teeny tiny chair. I think it's quite cute. I'm going to sprinkle some water on it make the ladybird happy and there we go if you have any questions or feedback uh, please leave them in the comments section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to vitamins 3